Yo, this is Jay for Straight Smoke Gaming, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the Oppressor Yay or Nay that I told you guys about yesterday. Um, this is a Black Friday deal, and I'm it's 50% off for the um, sales, so we're going to be going over and telling you if, you if we think it is worth buying or not. Um, we don't want you guys wasting money on a vehicle that isn't really going to help you guys um, grind or make money then it's essentially just a waste of money. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If you want to take a look at the other Black Friday deals, I will have the that video from yesterday linked in the description to go ahead and look because this is not the only one. There are tons more that are good as well. So let's get right into looking at the prices. And here, as you can see, it has a trade price and a buy now price. Um, to get the trade price, you do need to do um, missions in an MOC. And then that's how you get the trade price. But um, keep in mind that when you're um, buying this vehicle, that it does not come with the missiles right away. Um, you got to have a bunker. So there's a couple paywalls. You got to have a Avenger or an MOC to get the missiles put on it. You have to have an MOC to get the trade price. And yeah, you have to have a bunker to be able to get the missiles. So there's a couple paywalls here. So that's definitely going to affect... Um, the scoring on if it's good or not if it's worth buying and here I'm showing you how you get them um, to get these missiles you're gonna have to unlock them through the research and in the research it's all random chance like you can't pick what you research first if that was the case I wouldn't have researched the liveries I don't really think those do anything but it's all random so it's gonna take time and money so that's another, like, that's one of the paywalls I'm talking about. The, those missiles could be the last thing you unlock, and then you just spent how much money just to get the missiles on the regular oppressor. Um, here, we're doing the um, speed test. So here we got the Mark II versus the Scramjet versus Vigilante versus the um, oppressor. So we're going to see how fast we go. We're going to be going on the sticky bomb when it blows up. So um, we're ready. Here we go. Um... Every, all these cars have boost if you're wondering how we decided to pick out the cars. So yes, all the cars have boost. And here we go. As you see, the Oppressor Mark II takes the early lead. I'm starting to gain on him. And then I, uh, out the corner of my eye, I start to see the Visual Annie. So I look, and the way it finishes is the Mark II, um, Visual Annie, Mark, or Oppressor, and um, the uh, Scrabble Jet. Now here, I'm showing you how you guys can get the boost, because these other cars are different. The Mark II, you have to let off the gas. Uh, the other ones are just on the ground, and these ones, or this one, is similar to those, but you don't have to stay on the ground for it to recharge. As you'll see here, I'm only going to come down and touch, and I'll, I'm going to shoot back up, and my boost is refilling. So you don't have to be on the ground for this to charge. You just have to come down and touch, and it recharges. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um... It allows you to do your boost a lot more frequently than some of the other vehicles that we were, uh, I was going against. Maybe that's why I finished third. So here I'm showing you the stock weapons that come with the Mark II. So if you do not have the other, um, if you do not have the MOC or the bunker to get the research und undone and all that, um, here I'm showing you the stock weapons. And as you can see, it's a regular machine gun. I think we all know how a regular machine gun is going to do on a CPU car one. This car is standing still, so that's going to be tough. And two, it's a regular machine gun. I, if you guys have used machine guns on cars before, you know they're nothing special. So this car is really only beneficial if you have the um, if you have the missiles to put on it. So here I'm showing you, uh, that was the price if you want to go back and look. But now we're going to be going over the um, missiles here. And uh, the missiles, we're going against the Torador. Um, this has homing and non-homing, but we're going to use the homing missiles and we're just going to see how many it takes to blow this car up. So we got one, um, two, three, four, five, and it's on fire looking like, yep, six. So this, um, I'm going to take six to blow up a car here. And uh, after I went and did this, I went and took a look at how many missiles this thing actually had. I did not record that just to make it shorter for you guys. So I went ahead and got a whole nother clip. Um, here I'm trying to shoot more missiles, but I, it's not letting me. So it maxes out at 20 missiles. It holds 20 missiles. 
so here now it's the overall review um this vehicle it's fun like it you can have fun with it is it really a grinding vehicle no is it a waste of money if you're trying to grind yes um if you have a good flow of money on gta then why not i got why not why not buy it i mean it's a fun vehicle to have you can have really fun you can have a lot of fun with it it is a little bit hard to use i still crash and die from time to time when using this vehicle but overall it's a pretty fun vehicle to use that's really all it's got um maybe if this is your last resort option for a weaponized vehicle maybe it's okay because it's got homing missiles but personally me i would just rather um go ahead and buy the mark mark ii um it's a lot easier to use it's a lot more beneficial for a grinder so yeah this vehicle um for us at the channel here we're, it's gonna be a nay um as you can see here yeah i'm about to crash like i said this vehicle is not that easy to use so you gotta be really good with it i am the best one here at the channel with it and i still crash from time to time so yeah like i said this vehicle is gonna end up being a nay it's really not it has no grinding purpose so yeah that's the veil hope you guys enjoyed um remember if you guys enjoyed please remember to like and sub as it helps us out we cover madden 22 gta 5 and red dead redemption bye guys